Okay, so for all you circuit benders and weirdos that want to try to fix your stuff, this is the popular uh, but also discontinued Sony TCM 200 DV. It's a nice cassette recorder handheld. You can change the speed, double or normal time. Also, just slow it down. Um, and I decided to take mine apart because it wasn't working so well. Um, turns out the problem was the head just needed cleaning. Now, when you press play, you might notice this little thing pop out right here. That's the play head. The front of this thing needs cleaning. I just used some alcohol and a cotton swab to sort of clean the front head of that real good. And then for good measure, I also cleaned the record head. It's tricky to get the record head to clean. You kind of have to, there's a tab back in the back, a metal tab. You have to press that metal tab down. And now you can see that the record head has come out a lot further than it had. That metal tab usually gets pressed back when these tabs on the tape press up against it. If it's missing this tab on the tape, won't record right I got some good rubbing alcohol on there and I clean the tape head too uh, getting the cover off to access the PCB which ultimately wasn't necessary but but it was something I thought maybe I was gonna have to dig in deeper to this thing getting the cover off was was difficult there were two screws here there were also two additional screws, uh, one here that needed to come out, and one that was here that needed to come out, and uh, a number of tabs, one, two, three, four, five, six tabs there. Um, those need to be pressed on from inside the thing. So if I flip it over and look inside, you'll see that those three tabs pop up in three places. Uh, there's one there, you see that? There's one there in the corner. There's another one here. And then the third one is there in that corner. I'm sorry, it's dark. And then two more by the buttons, so in this area. But those kind of just come out, no problem, once uh, once the screw is gone. So yeah, that's sort of it. I'm gonna put it back together now. And, oh, another thing I should note, this, this stop button, you can see this piece of plastic loops over the stop button. So there is a little bit of bending of that stop button you gotta do to get this thing to come out. Um, just be careful not to break it, of course. Uh, and when you're putting it back on, to loop it over the stop button first, then press the stop button in, and just make sure everybody's copacetic in theory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's back. Uh, also, I knocked off the, uh, see, if you just pull it with your hand, it'll, it'll come part way off. I knocked the lanyard off. I don't really want this thing on there anyways, but, um, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll put my four screws back in and close her up. Now, now you can see one of these screws is longer than the others. Uh, this black one, it goes, goes up by the mic. Yeah, black one goes up by the mic if you're having trouble remembering. And then the other three screws are all the same length. Too tricky to get back in. Just a little afraid of over tightening. Just happy I managed to get this on without breaking the damn thing. Pop in my batteries now. Pop in two.
does like super slow speed because it'll play on half speed and you can slow it down. Recording works. Recording works. <laughs>